Hey everybody, this is Captain Heat here for you for another My Hero Academia Manga Chapter Reaction Slash Review. This is going to be My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 370, History. And the H, I, and S on this first panel is capitalized. All the other letters are lowercase. So I guess it's supposed to try to be a cool play on words on his history. Um, I'm guessing Spinner because on this first panel, the way it's drawn, it's a flashback. And the very first text bubble is die. You filthy monster. So, I'm <laughs> the last like person we saw last captain was Spinner. So, geez, that's pretty intense. And actually, I'm on time this week. For the past two weeks, I kept passing out around like two. But I woke up this morning around eight something. It's only 9.15 right now. And the chapter still wasn't out. This chapter came on 9.05 a.m. So, the chapter was pretty late. But, hey, I'm on time. Next like uh, next time, I'll be on time. <laughs> next time, I'm going to really try to stay up and be on time like I usually am. I don't know why. If, like the past two weeks, I just kept falling asleep. But I get you guys. I get you guys. But let's get into this chapter. Okay. Um, what's a flashback? Is this rubble in the background? Oh, no. It's just a normal town. Okay. Uh, die, you filthy monster. Harf <laughs> hate harmful words. We see silhouettes of people throwing oh, rocks. Jeez. Mutants shouldn't live. Mutants, I mean, sorry. Mutants shouldn't leave their homes. I can't believe they had that tainted blood. You people tricked us. Our land will be forever stained. Leave. Jeez, man. Yo, is this spinner? When when we say, when I just read what I just said, the panel it has like this little lizard on the wall. <laughs> it looks like a, it doesn't look like a, you know, somebody with a lizard cork like spinner. It looks like an actual lizard. Is that was that. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it's not funny. Was that how lizard, is that how spinner looked like as a kid? He was like an actual lizard. That's kind of funny. And it's starting to be like that, because we've seen a picture of Tokoyami as a kid. He looks just like Tokoyami with the bird head and the rest of the features as a human. But, you know, obviously he was small as a kid. He wasn't like an actual bird. And then he became bigger, <laughs> you know, as what do we see now. That, that's, that's a little funny. Uh, the next panel we see Spinner just walking as a grown adult. No matter how far the world progresses, we will never accept that tainted blood of yours. In the next panel, we get a close-up shot on Spinner's eyes, and we see all the detail in his face. Really nice detail, real close. He just looks nice. <clears throat> Looking back in time to the central hospital right after Dobby's defeat was announced to all the battlefields in front of Central Hospital. Yeah, and this is the panel where we saw Spinner the last, last time, before the last chapter, when he was gigantic, he was like spitting out because so it's just, just regular spit and he was going stupid with his sword they locked up Corey oh Corey Geary last chapter I kept saying he was getting ganged to mock you my bad they locked up Corey Geary but were taking him back Corey Geary considered to be the high end normal closest to perfection all for one determined that he was being kept in the top of the line hospital so he sent Spinner lieutenant of the, Paral the paranormal liberation in front the remnant warriors and several civ civilians <laughs> what several civilians that I what advocated for their actions and we just see a bunch of the mutated courts with spinner because yeah that was like a big thing with spinner and I remember I remember that chapter where they were like yeah spinner you're gonna be in charge of all the like mutated quirks people, you gotta rally them up and stuff, and you know you, you gotta like you you gotta rally them up, and you're in charge of all of them for this next war coming out. Like, it was like a really big thing about talking about the, the talking talking about like the mutated quirks side of my hero because people do treat them kind of wrong. Because, you know they do look. I mean some of them look kind of normal, like like Tokoyami. I mean <laughs> he has a bird head, but you know other than other, other than the bird head, the rest of his body human. But you know like, some of them look normal, some of them look pretty crazy. Like, you know, it's like, it's, like, it's like a mismatch, but, you know, it, it was always like a thing to where sometimes those core accusers get kind of treated wrong. In the next panel, wow, he gets so many people, dog. <laughs> this next panel is an outward sound. It's just so many people there. And what, weren't they supposed to, like, split up everybody? <laughs> like, this was a really good outcome for Spinner. Jeez, he got, like, a whole army there, and he's gigantic with his sword. Overhaul, I mean, overall... Roughly 15,000 people were making into the hospital. Jeez, go, go. Make a path. Surround them. 
hey, stay on the line. Open a path. Next panel, we see uh, President Mike and Rocklock fighting. Is Rocklock getting rocked? And uh, he's trying his best to like push him back. Um, against them were the remaining heroes and police squads, around 200 of them. Yeah, they're going to get ran through. 15,000 versus 200. Oh, President Mike, in this panel, he jumps in the air. I'm guessing he's going to scream. Uh, you're quite the star today, C. Rokumu. Yeah, that's been his real name. Loud out, shout. Yeah, he just screams right into the crowd. Everybody gets blown away. Oh, what? No, they don't. The very next panel, nothing happens. Person Mike is surprised, and this is gigantic mutated guy that's like really big, and it says Meat Seal. So they use them. But. But his voice thing, well, okay, well, he has that thing on, because I was, I was going to say his voice thing is so loud, so it covers like a larger area than that one big guy, and this one big guy, is that durable to take him? I mean, I'm pretty sure he didn't scream as hard as he could, but, you know, I was like, it should be a loud, larger area, but he wears that thing on his neck to pinpoint it, because he still couldn't, like, it's sort of like uh, Kaminari. I remember Kaminari was like, you know, he's not that good enough to like shoot lightning in a specific way. He can only do it in a big burst. So that's why he uses those little discs to do it in a, in a certain way. Um, he uses that like thing on his neck, you know, to pinpoint it just like Kaminari. So I guess it's not that big of an area. But I'm so surprised there's one big guy can just block all that. And he blocked it and this random guy in the, in the field jumps up at President Mike with wings and he has a, he has a spear fork thing President Mike was able to dodge because, oh, okay, I was like, he threw wings? Coda made a bunch of crows come and grab President Mike and push him to the side. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sensei, are you hurt? Thanks, Anima. Uh, wait, where's technical? Oh, oh, Soji, <laughs> Soji. Tech, I call. Wait, what's technical? We got separated while fighting. Chief. Where are they? I mean, Chief, there are too many of them. Call reinforcements. There's no one to call. Push them back with your taser seals. That's pretty cool. Dang it. They're actively dividing and isolating our, our already thin forces. Push them down. Tie them down. Yo, a ton of people are ganging up on Rocket Lock. <laughs> I'm kind of getting nervous for them. There's a ton of people grabbing them. They're just a bunch of off-the-street ramble right so why are they so devoted to their leader such a mouth tie him we had enough we're not rotters get his hand we're always saying stuff like that you human faced people will never understand and Rockler looks kind of surprised drop them down out of the way make a path Something's coming up behind Coda. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a bunch of more people. I was like, someone's coming up behind Coda, but it's a bunch of the uh, paranormal, paranormal liberation in front mutated quirks people, and they just grab them and slam them. It's like, jeez. To the ground. Get out of the way. Vanish. Disappear. Stop. And they rip off Coda's mask. Why are you doing this? Let's all stop this already. One gets up in Coda's face. Um, are you from a big city? You darn traitor. Open it up. Our, wait, I gotta zoom in. Some of these words are getting tiny. Let him pass. He'll pass. We're stronger. Our, our spokesman. Make a, make a way. Uh, there's nothing too important. <laughs> oh, who is this? This is a pretty cool costume. The very next panel, somebody in his really long dress and a hood has like a scarf, a fluffy scarf on. And they have, um, you know, you know, you see the iron spider, you get the those four spider like legs coming out. You see four of those coming out from the back, and you can't see their face. This person looks kind of cool. Uh, let rage, let rage co consume you. Oh, let rage consume you, for this is the day of liberation. Quirk, consoling quirk, induction. These are nothing but means of oppression. And we know that better than anyone else, we suffer the consequences. Our spokesman will pass. Oh, I thought this whole time they were talking about um, Spinner. <laughs> I thought they were talking about Spinner this whole time. Order 66. 
that's from Star Wars, I think. I think, isn't that, like, I don't know too much about Star Wars, but I got a friend that knows about Star Wars, and they joke a lot, and I, mean, I think that's when they kill everybody, or, like, kill the kids or something. I know, I know people die if someone says that, but I don't know too much about it. <laughs> the very, yeah, the very, right next to it, the text bubble says, The Great Jedi Purge. <laughs> okay. Uh, the history of the paranormal is a history of violence against what looks different. And you see a panel of just a ton of liberation, I mean, a ton of mutated quirks on the ground, people, and people like poking them with sticks and hitting them. And, oh, killing them too. Jeez. When asked about his uh, reasons, a man took, a man that took part in these massacres simply said they were gross. But now things have changed, huh? Of course not. That was what they want you to believe. And we see a panel of Principal Nezu talking to people, the gorilla guy and the dog guy from the police force. And then we see a normal looking human and like a rat guy talking to each other and joking around. The bigger the city, the more div diverse they are. Yes, some claim that people uh, ed educated in dividers I mean, diverse environments won't discriminate, but try stepping out of these big cities for a change. And, oh, sorry, for a change. All you'll find, oh, and it took off his hood, and it's like a, I don't know, centipede? Yeah, centipede type of guy with a scar on his head. Are people who say they are gross. Everyone who's here today feels like they've been living in the shadows. So we'll make our own light. Well, sorry, we're signed by ourselves. Let them pass. No matter how strong the light is, I'll never sign on us. I mean, it will never sign on us. We see President Might, Rock Lock, and Coda still fighting. I'll be better without his... I mean, it'll be better without this quirk. Have any of you ever thought that? Open a way for him. Let him pass. Spinner is our voice. This guy is talking to <laughs> what? We see we see a flag of Spinner's face on it. It says Spinner is our voice. You people are not heroes. He is the one. Win. You have to win this. Open the way for our leader, who will lead us to the center of society. Okay. Spinner looks like a monster, man. It's all this drill coming out. How big he is with his sword. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Six all for one gave me this power. My mind is going blank. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so that's confirmed. I guess it's kind of overwhelming him. Because he says my mind is going blank. And we see his eyes on the roll back into the back of his head. But that doesn't... I don't know. I was going to say, like... Normally, you know... You know, um, when you get too many quirks. The quirks and reality things have turned to a monster. You can't think straight and stuff. But... Unless, I mean, from what we know, Off One only gave Spinner this one quirk to make himself bigger. So I don't know why he's messing him up so badly. But what was there a thing about switching quirks that could mess people up? I can't, I'm, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking like, yeah, there was something in the past where they were like, Off One has switched quirks before for people. But it doesn't always work out like that because sometimes it's not compatible. Sometimes it's just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. Ayama. I'm thinking of Ayama. Yeah, he gave him a quirk, but the quirk just wasn't compatible or it wasn't like, it was kind of weird like. That's why he, like, his belly kept hurting every time he used his quirk. Okay, that, that maybe that's what's going on with Spinner. Okay, okay. That, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Um, so Spinner walks up. Hey, leader. Whatever. I'll just. Take Korrigiri back. What is he doing? Oh, he's finna like, <laughs> do as I was told. He's like finna swing his sword down. Okay. My boy Soji coming in. Octo blow. <laughs> he starts punching Spanner like crazy. I'm guessing he can make his arms bigger. Yeah, he's gonna have to make his arms a lot bigger to do this. But he's Octo blow. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody looks, huh? Spinner, you bum. Darn traitor. He thinks he's some kind of hero. Kill him. Die, you filthy monster. Oh, no. Did they grab Soji? Ah, they did. Ah, I mean, it is 15,000 of them. 
dang it. They grabbed him and then slammed him to the ground. What does attacking the hospital have to do with your cause? Everybody stops. I heard that in uh, Yaku, the first thing the heroes did was evacuate the patients and the staff from the hospital. They started attacking when everyone was safe. What about you guys? Have you ever thought about that? No matter how far we progress, we'll never accept that tainted blood of yours. Oh. We see a panel of little kid soggy with some bandages on his face, and he's all roughed up. Next panel. What's going on? Oh, his mask is off. Yo, Soji gets up and he's like, Ugh! and he just like pushes everybody off of him. Bam. And he's like, yo, and his mask came off. I swear, the spinner and that uh, centipede guy looks, and we see his mouth. <laughs> we see his mouth. If the answer is no, I will never forgive you. The young man screams, blowing away the darkness. 370 in. We actually get to see his mouth. Yeah, that's cool. That's Let's go. <laughs> My boy is Soji. I love you. I, I I never really liked Soji until that episode in season three when it was him, Deku, Todoroki, Baku. Like, like that episode where, you know, Deku met up with him and they had to take down crazy uh, uh, Tokoyami. And then, you know, they uh, they fought Compress. And then eventually they met up with Twice and Dabi. And that really cool shot of Tog. I mean, not Tog. It was, it was Deku, Todoroki, and uh, Deku, I mean, Deku, Soji, and Todoroki, they all, like, punched on uh, Mr. Compressed, slamming on the ground, like, until that episode happened, because I didn't hate Soji, but at the same time, I'm like, this guy looks kind of cool, but, yeah, he's okay, but when that episode happened, I'm like, okay, this guy's kind of cool, I, I like Soji, I mean, I've been liking Soji for a minute, my, my boy Soji up there, man, I really like Soji, his quirk is very unique, <laughs> I really like his quirk, my boy, like, that. We, we have technically seen his mouth before, because I remember Horikoshi came out and said that the reason he hide his mask was because... I mean, the reason he wears a mask all the time, no matter what he's wearing, was because... Uh, I think he said he was, like, out and about, and a little girl cried when he saw Soji's face and it looked kind of creepy, so he wears a mask so he doesn't scare anybody. And it was, like, also a sketch of what Soji's face will look like in uh, in the SBS or whatever. Not the, well, there was, like, a drawing that Horikoshi did of what he would look like without his mask. And I was like, okay, that looks cool. And I kept thinking, I hope we see his mask. Obviously, I kept thinking of that picture we saw from back in the day. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, Horikoshi could change it up if he wants. I, I kept thinking that because, I'm going to get off topic. I kept thinking that because I saw this, like, little fan comic of Soji telling horror stories around the campfire 1A. And he's like, whatever. He said whatever. And he took off his mask a little bit. And he, like, raised his sharp teeth like Kirishima. And, like, all the girls got scared. So I'm thinking, you know, Horikoshi could change it up if he wants to, to have him uh, have, like, sharp teeth. But nah, okay, so I guess Soji's fight is going to be, huh, it's going to be kind of hard to have a 1v1 fight with 15,000 people around that's going to jump them. It kind of seems like it's going to be Spinner and the, Cent and the Centipede guy, or maybe it's going to be a tag team where Koda goes after the Centipede guy and Soji goes after Spinner. That'd be pretty cool. My boy Octoblow. <laughs> we finally get to see it. I remember he was going to do Octoblow and the heroes rising. But then he got um he just he just got grabbed by um Chimera. I was so mad. Now it hasn't he was supposed to do Octoblow against the Pony Girl in the next season. So I guess it kind of made sense why they didn't show us in the movie. But at the same time, like you know, he was like Octoblow. He just got grabbed. I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> but that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, not too much to say about this chapter. I mean, we get to see a flashback of Spinner a little bit when he was getting real cool. I mean, yeah, this whole chapter was just um. Basically, how mutated courts get ridiculed and judged as nasty beings and people, and sometimes they get killed. Well, outside of big cities like this, where you know it's okay, uh, the racism for mutated courts is crazy. Outside of big cities where they get massacred and killed, people are like, oh, I mean, I just they're gross, so I killed them. You know, that's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty sad. And you know, obviously, I guess all these fifteen thousand people are from the outskirts, not from big cities, so they know about all the harm people can do against uh, mutated courts. Obviously, Coda and stuff doesn't know about that too much. That's why when they slam Coda, they're like, aren't you from a big city? I'll never understand, because, you know, from out like little small villages or towns or whatever, you know, they chase us down. They kill us and stuff. Um, it's still kind of wild to me that... <laughs> it's still pretty wild to me that 
that impresses his mind like this big attack he did was just blocked by this one big guy. That, that's still kind of. I mean, he. I mean, I'm looking at the panel. He's decently big, but still. I mean, well, he is coughing up blood, so it did hurt him. But it's, <laughs> it's still surprising to me. But unless Soji can like awaken his quirk and turn gigantic, like they're gonna have to really do something here because it's 15. Like every, every time they like literally, we saw a rock lock. Uh, we saw President Mike. Well, and we saw Coda and Soji. Every time they do an attack, they just get grabbed because there's 15,000 Liberation Army people out there, and there's only 200 of them here. So they're gonna need some sort of change in the battlefield quick, <laughs> or this is gonna get very, very bad, <laughs> very quickly. But hey, Soji gets his moment of sign. I like that because I really do like Soji, and uh, that's the chapter. So like, say, and subscribe. I see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all out there for being wonderful human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. All right. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my year of Academia Season 6, Episode 2, because they're finally pumping out the dub episode. So that's good.